Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. It's just going to be a happy mail video. I got some stuff in the mail this week, some um, birthday mail that came in the mail earlier on this week and I figured I would show it with you today. I am still waiting on one package that will come by next week um, and I'll show you that next uh, week when it comes then. Um, but I got some stuff this week from Michelle and I uh, figured I'll show it with you and I have, it's going to be probably a longer video because I decided that I'm going to start flipping through all the books that I get in the happy mail as well. I'm going to talk about a product uh, that I um, came in the mail I want to talk about a little more um, and do like a little bit of a comparison for everyone because I was asked um, if I could um, like do almost like a comparison or like the difference between uh, the two different types um, on Instagram. So I figured I'd do that right here today and that way I can give you kind of like a mini review. I'll, I will be using the uh, the product um, a lot more on my channel in the coming months um, or the coming month really because the next month uh, I has like the theme of it so I'll use them a lot that, uh, that month. Um, so if you hear any squeaking in the background, that's my chair. I just got a computer chair today for my birthday and it's like squeaking and like making noise. So like not like that's just like the leather's like moving around. So like that other fake leather is moving around and making noise. It's like making far noises. So if you hear that, it's the chair. Just put it out of the warning. <laughs> but anyways, let's get started with the first product that came in the mail. And I was so excited when I, I seen this on uh, um in the mail because I uh, the person like came in the box like what in the world is that? Uh, that? And I opened it up like. I was so, so excited because it's going to be perfect for the next month's theme as well as because I started to really need some more. And that was the Rose Art 100 set of Super Tips. Let me actually just, there you go. And 100 set of Super Tips. These are the Rose Art brands. They are water-based um, markers. They are like the Super Tips, like the Crayola Super Tips. A uh, nice thing about this one though is they, the, thing, the thing will pull out. I'll show you how it does that. So you can actually keep them in here. not like them being all like on different levels or like the same level to actually make it so you can see them a little differently and everything like that. Um, but yeah, I have used these on a picture that you'll see in a second and I have swatched them out and I will compare these to the Crayolas um, because I uh, was asked like how do they compare to them so like that. So I'll talk about these in a little bit more. But here are the markers. As you'll see, the black is over here because um, I don't know if... Um, rose art miscounted or if there are duplicates here i don't see any duplicates in here um but there are 101 markers in here there there's tw four trays in here and there are 25 markers in each tray but the black one didn't fit anywhere so i just kind of have it like over here to the side um but there's 25 in each tray and there's no really room for it to go in here i could probably like shove it in like one of these trays back here you know but I just kept it on the side. Let's see if it will fit back here when I was in. Let's see. You know, it's like it's, it gets too... Uh oh let's see, it gets too tight if you put it back there. So, oh, over to the side, it fits and it still closes. But the nice thing about this is it has a little handle back here. And you just pull it very gently. And you just pull it and then you fold the things out. And it kind of has that little display thing there so like it kind of like goes upwards and then you just gently fold it down and it goes right back down in there um i will say that is a nice thing but as well like, i kind of took a little learning to get used to because i like pull yanked it up too far it's like all the marks are like on the floor but luckily um i went to color coordinate everything together so like you have the skin tones going to the browns the yellows the oranges the reds stuff like that all the way through that was just like a little easier because I will eventually be swatching these. I did swatch them out so you can see the like swatch and comparisons, but I will do them more in depth, you know, when I have like a swatch books like that, which I'll be getting at the end of the month and start and do like all of my swatches on camera. Um, but one thing that I will say about these that I was blown away by with by is that you see right here in the front is the light sky skin tones markers. There are three right here that are kind of like nice cream beigey skin tones, you know? And then there's of course the ones that have a little more pink to it, and then you have you start your browns on uh, your deeper skin tones. The Crayola ones do not have like these color markers here, so it was really hard to do lighter skin tones, which I'll show in a second. I had the swatch, I swatch all of them out. But um it's really nice because this one here, if you're looking for a set of markers to have if you like doing people, this is the set to get for you because you have this really nice uh, lighter skin tones and you can work your way to deeper skin tones. Um, but it's really nice. And it was, I've seen this on the first time I've seen these markers there and I was like really surprised by was just how nice they looked on the, on the, um, 
um, the paper. So let me just close it up for a second here. And I have, I have um, a 10 set of them that I got at um, Ollie's for $1.80. So I'm going to keep these ones out so I can just kind of like show you the comparison between the twos. So let me grab a pink so you can see. They are pretty much the same. They're a little bit shorter. Let me zoom in. They are a little bit shorter than the Crayolas. They are about the same width. I think these are slightly skinnier. Um, the only main difference besides that is um, the tips on the Rose Art markers are a little more stiffer. These ones are a little more softer. So I'm, I'll say what that is, let me show you. And they are slightly smaller. And what I've I I seen this as well, this has more of a length right here. So technically these are the same length um, markers. Cause you think uh, if you take the lid off, technically this one's bigger. So this one's slightly skinnier, this is slightly longer. So you get the same exact uh, amount of markers in there um, that as each size, just when the cap's on, this one has a larger cap to it. So but they're basically the same size. Um, one thing that I will say, big difference and that's a big plus, the rose art markers are a lot more true to the cap. They are still very different. You know, they're not exactly the same, but they are, you won't have a hard time trying to like, if you want to like pull this out and without have like a spare piece of paper to swatch it out, um, you'll f f find that the ink itself is very much the same as it is on the cap. Let me just grab, show you. Lay this down so you can see. Right there's the color and there's the cap. So it's pretty much the same color as the cap. And then this pink, let me do it right underneath where it's not as far as underneath there. You can see that it's slightly darker. This cap actually looks more like the rose art and this Crayola. So the ink inside the rose arts are a little more true to cap, which is nice. So you can just pull it out of the, the box and go. So that's like the main uh, differences. And our main difference is um, the amount of colors you get for each one. I'm going to zip this up really quick and put it over here at my cases. So let me move this over here for a second. Oops, sorry, I might be bumping into the tripod because I had I went to get a computer chair without arms, and this one has arms because that was the only one that they had um, in the price range. So, these are the Rose Arts, and this is what I was talking about the skin tones, the uh, kind of like lighter complexion skin tones. And you'll see when I show you the Crayolas. Let me zoom out so you get the full picture. There you go. These are the Rose Arts, these are the Crayolas. These are pretty much the lightest skin tones in the Crayolas. And as you can see on camera, that's how pink they are. Literally the pink that I just had was that pink. That was the pink, that's the lightest one for a skin. Or maybe it was that one. But you can see, let's see, it actually was that one. Yeah, it was that one. So it's still super pink, you know? And you still, still do have the pinker tones here that you can use, you know, if you wanted to, but you have three options of lighter, like creamier, like cream toned markers. And you have, you can see some of the browns are very similar and some of the colors are very similar in general, but what you do, you get a little more, you get more yellows in the Rose Arts versus the Crayolas and you get about the same pinks and are you get maybe a little more pink in the rose arts um the big difference that you i will say is you get a little more blues and greens in the crayolas than you would in like the um because right here's where the blue start and right here's where the blue pretty much ends right there and right here's where the blue starts right here where the blue ends so you get me a couple more in there and then this one goes to like there's only two more over there of the greens and there's only one more over here on the greens so you get a little more greens and, and blues in this set in the crayolas versus the rose arts so it just depends on what you're really kind of 
and then the grays are pretty much the same color. So that is a green, but the cap looked gray when I pulled it out, so I couldn't really tell. So they are very similar. You just get slightly different variations of colors. Um, I will say you can't really judge the Crayolas by the swatches because I have had them longer. Um, I had my Crayolas now about a year, year and a half, and um, some of them I have used up, so they're not as vibrant as it used to be. But if I had to, like, say, hands down, um, if you're getting a, a, a set for the very first time and you want, like, a, your super tips, you know, I would say go with the Rose Arts just because I do feel like they're a little more versatile with skin tones and for your lighter skin tones, your darker skin tones, your lighter skin tones are pretty much pink in the set. And if you really want a skin tone set with the Crayolas, I would recommend get, uh, going out or going to Amazon and just grabbing the multicultural set that they have out. Um, they have an eight set and they have a 10 set um, and they have pretty much every skin tone you would need in there. And the, um, the beige is a little more kind of, you know, creamish color. It's still darker than like these ones here, but it does have more of a lighter skin tone base um, than this 100 set. So I would definitely say if you're looking for, or you enjoy doing people and coloring, that the Rose Arts would be the one to go for versus the Crayolas. But if you like to color more, scenic things the crayolas are probably the more one to go for that uh, way so it's basically more for um what is your preference with coloring and like i said i will eventually do a swatch of these i will go ahead and number everything in the box what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave them in the box as is it's so like as they come in here and then what i'll do is i'll just start numbering from one to 100 or 101 i'll just leave the black one blank but 100 to 101 and we'll also Side note of everything, when you get markers, whether they're water-based, I'm bumping the tripod a lot there, so I'm sorry, I apologize about that. Um, where you, whether you get a alcohol marker, a water-based marker, you know, whatever kind of marker, a lot of bases that they have out there, swatch out your black markers, even if you think you don't need to, because just like every other kind of undertone, there are different marker undertones to black different color undertones um the crayola one has a more bluish undertone black the crayola um brush tips have a more greenish undertone black this one has a more bluish undertone black to it but it's almost if you look at a certain light it's like a bluish green undertone so it kind of blends both together in those undertones together so always swatch your black markers out because every single one has a different undertone where it's a blue one or a green one and you know you don't want or you you wouldn't want to swatch out like you want to do a night sky with a black marker and you go ahead and do it and then it has a, a green undertone to it your sky look, looks greenish black you know instead of like a bluish black so just as a kind of like side note to it always swatch out your black markers even if you think you don't need to so that is for the markers products and you'll be seeing me coloring with them a lot on my channel in the coming months because next month is marker madness and i plan on trying to use every single one of my markers like my marker brands next month on the channel so uh, as well these came the next day and i got some uh, two coloring books from uh, michelle as well and i am in love with these books i couldn't help myself i had to do um a book or a page in one of these books already and i love this book i love this um this um artist's um art style i think going to see in the back has her has her picture i think is a she yeah she um but that is cat spirits coloring book by christina McAllister. um this is book one so it would probably be another one out this one i think came out last year so Definitely really, really like this book. I love her art style. It's kind of like very um, mosaic almost in a way. Let me see, yeah, just one more so you can see the full book. But I absolutely love this book. Their one side, the art is printed on the Amazon printed paper. And they're 24 one side original arts. And these are kind of, 
they're grayscale, but they're like a unique grayscale. They are um, more like realistic grayscale, where it's more shaded into like where the shadows would fall. Like if you see the shadow like back here of like where my light is going, this would be like how it would be sh uh, shaded in, like how it would be shaded like where my hand is cast in shadow. It says like every single little detail, um, like in like the Jade Summer ones. You know, it's basically more realistic grayscale. So this is on the Amazon printed paper, but um, it handles markers, everything like that good. So I never had a problem with it, but these are absolutely amazing. The only thing I would say on that, if she could change with these, would I'd be love to have like, because she has her um, like copyright, her name, her website, which is gypsymystery.com, the name of the book. I would love to have like down here, like maybe like underneath on the right hand side, like maybe the names of the cats in the pictures. So you can kind of like... Um, have the names or you can write the names down there yourself but it would nice like if she like would name the cat so you can have like know which one you're coloring or like like you can like frame or you know like you can say like oh i'm coloring so and so you know i love this one this one may probably be one of the ones i do next but as you see it kind of like has like that shadow uh, shading in, in a different way than your normal grayscale like up here you see like the the lamp you know isn't in any kind of grayscale effect, but it's more down here where the shadow would be from the lamp itself. So it's a really kind of unique grayscale, and I think it'd be a little bit less of an intimidating grayscale if you're new to it. And there's one I did color. This is all with just the Rose Art um, markers. Um, they work really good on this paper. That any kind of marker will really work good on the Create Space paper, but these will not bleed. And then I did use some gel pen for her buckle up here and her necklace. So I really like how she turned out. And then you can see it does, you know, bleed through them because the water-based markers always have your stuff in the back. I just cut up old manila envelopes, put it right back in the back, and it fits and it works. And you can use just one manila envelope that's cut up and you will not have any bleed through of alcohol markers either. So I love that one as well. This is a book where I can see myself finishing this book up, you know, because I have already kind of felt like I could have finished a lot more pictures if I have not been um telling myself that I need to read before nighttime trying to get myself back on reading so like not reading for this but I could if, if I could I probably have like five or six pictures done already this was one I'm gonna do next but I decided on doing this one and I just seen this page here it's like I need to do this one so I think I would do the blanket in a um yellow color and then the embellishments with like made a purple gel pen and this is just my little I always keep this on hand just in case I haven't swatched the markers out yet. So that way I can just like scribble down a little bit. But you can see what I was talking about. They kind of like had like a very like almost like mosaic look to her uh, her kind of style. And this one here with like the busy patterns, I love that one just like really appeals to me anymore. Ever since I started falling in love with Ma uh, Mandalas, I just like look at busy patterns. Like I like this. I like that she also includes you know, like lions and tigers in her uh, books as well. And there's your cover picture. Your sphinx cat i believe it's called and then you also get your grayscale testing back here so you can test your markers your pencil how you want to use it and stuff like that but i like how she did include um a sheet back here for your testing out and everything like that then you have a little bit of her more other different books um but i will definitely be getting more of her books because she is definitely um a coloring book artist that i absolutely love i don't think i fall in love with the color book artists so fast i do have one other one from her that was sent to me earlier this month which is the monster mandalas monstrous mandalas so it's the same artist as well i i love this book i love this one and it's that from pretty much now, now on i'm gonna start collecting the rest of her books because after seeing this book and then this book they're just amazing and i would highly recommend her artwork um to anyone that is watching um, because they are, uh, she mixes the smaller details with the bigger details, and that for me is something that I really like, because I can gravitate towards, um, whether I want to do something that's big or something that's small, I, I know she has, um, a page in her book for it, so I'm just putting the backing to that book in there again. And the next book is another cat one, and let me tell you, this book is adorably cute, and, I have fallen in love with the artist after this book because I've seen her work. Um, she's a well-known artist here on, you know, ColorTube. And I've never had one of her books. And this is my first one. And 
I can see why everyone loves her work, and that is Sherry Baldi's My Besties Cat Lovers Coloring Book. Adult and all ages coloring my uh, coloring book. There are 50 images in here. You get two of each image. It's kind of like the um Hannah Lynn's where you get one image and the other image is exactly right behind it. I really like when artists do that because of the fact that um um you can do like one markers, one pencils, stuff like that. So that's probably what I'll start doing. So let's go ahead and flip through. You flip open it up, you get a little about the artist um in the front here. I'll let, you can pause that if you want to read. I'm not going to read it all off. Then they have the mybestieshop.com, which is her website. I do not know if she sells PDFs or not, but you can go probably to her website there and check. I believe she does sell PDFs. I am not 100% certain. So you get these nice little pictures here in the frames. And like I say, once you flip over, you get the same image. So you do have two copies of each. And what I will say is there's an image pretty much for every occasion here. You know, like there's a Christmassy one. You know, there's different cutie ones, the cute ones in, in in here as well. But there's like different um ones for different moods so like that. So I definitely can't wait to color this one. I do have one set aside to color. Which is this one right here, because I figure it's a little like a little birthday cat. So I figure I'll do that one. And like I said, you get kind of like an almost like a mix of different styles to it. I think that one is the cover. No, that was not, not the cover. For some reason, I thought that one was the cover. A little magician cat. And what I like about her work is they're very cute images, but they're not like super, super busy images. So like if you just want like something to pull out you do your markers with, these would be the ones to do your, just kind of like pull out and do your markers with. You can do like kind of some light shading around if you want it to. Like the little Halloween one. I'll have to do this one for my upcoming Halloween month. Yeah, a little Christmas one. And our Halloween one. A little princess cat with a little bow and uh, beads. A little birthday one, like a birthday or Christmas one. I thought that was really cute to fit in a tiny little envelope. A little hat box cat. I think that one is, nope, that's not the last one. They had a little princess bed cat, little hair thing, little hair bow. There you go, you have a little information for that. Again, like those. Yeah, she has an Etsy shop, so she probably does sell PDFs. And she's kind of like scanning it really quickly. Let's see, she has a Facebook group, My Besties Designs. Her websites are on mybestieshop.com, my be uh, my besties.com, scrapbookstampsociety.com. Etsy, uh, the shop is just Sherry Baldy, and she has a uh, blog on sherrybaldy.blogspot.com for challenges. So I'll have to check that out to see if maybe she has a challenge for this or not. So that is this book is printed on the Amazon printed paper. Um, so just, you know, kind of want, I always want to do a show book. I want to make sure I do say that because I know some people don't really like that. And you can go ahead and try to look for the um, PDF file of this one. So that is it for today's video. I will be showing you more pictures from these books soon, and I will be incorporating probably this one and this one into uh, next month's color long, um, because I wanted, uh, this one here, I pretty much will be doing with markers, because I do like, I like, like, when I was coloring this, it was just so therapeutic with just doing, like, okay, I'm gonna do this color here, and let's do it all around here, you know, type of thing. It was just very therapeutic to, like, one color, put it down, and it still came out, like, really, really amazing. You know, and you really, you cannot see, you can see some of the marker lines, but the rose art ones, I'll say that again as like a side note, the rose art markers here, I did not have any trouble that much with marker lines. It really just happened on the last few stones there on like, um, this side here, because I was kind of like, I got down to like this area, it's like, I'm almost done, which is really, really fast. Like I need to get this done, you know, type of thing. Um, but yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. And until next time, I hope you all have an amazing day. And I'll be using these on camera, um, in the coming week. Because I'll be doing a page from Flower Mandalas by, um, Creative Haven, artist Marty Noble. And I'll probably be using the Rose Art markers. So that is it for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Until next time, hope you have an amazing day and happy coloring.